My name is Yasmin Ali. Uh, my job at the moment is uh, an innovation program manager at the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. So that is the bit of the UK government that looks after energy. Hi, I'm Balius Nimsamura. I'm engineering manager project at Croda, a speciality chemical company, and they're delivering ingredients in everyday products including engine lubricants and, and base creams. Hello, my name is Tommy Isaac. I'm the principal engineer for Progressive Energy. Progressive Energy is a low carbon hydrogen development company. At a very high level, my job is to manage innovation funding for energy projects that are going to help us to get to net zero emissions by 2050. What I do at Acroda is I'm really looking at the uh, long-term innovation and the major projects and um, within that it's uh, a lot of project management but also a lot of um, ideation creation of uh, new ideas and, and creating those projects and selling them as well. My role is the project management of High Deploy which is the UK's hydrogen blending program which is there to develop the evidence base to change the regulatory structure of the UK to enable hydrogen to be entered into the gas grid. One of the parts I really enjoy about my current role is uh, a people aspect actually not even the technical aspect that's that I can get into work with uh, so many other disciplines and uh, people and uh, some really creative minds around growth. What I enjoy most about my job at the moment is knowing that I'm contributing to the solutions to climate change. So I'm working on uh, things that are going to decarbonize industry. So for example, the production of low carbon hydrogen or technologies that are going to increase energy efficiency in the industrial sector in the UK. The highlight of my career so far has been achieving the first ever regulatory approval from the HSC to blend hydrogen into a public gas network for nearly 700 homes up in the northeast. This is the first time that hydrogen has entered a public gas grid since the conversion from Towns Gas back in 1976. Now, the greatest challenge that I face in my job is actually continuous development. I'd say um, every role that I did, uh, I was not quite ready for it. I, I always had a, a learning stage that I had to uh, undergo. And it's, so I came in from, from university and my first project, I was getting involved in kind of process development, a very exciting project. but. You know, I had to learn some new skills. I had to learn about the current uh, process that we're doing. And sometimes you, you just don't know, you have to ask. The largest challenge I've found in my career is finding a company with the right cultural fit. Once you find a company that fits your ambitions and priorities, it really enables you to grow as a person and to achieve all of your ambitions personally and professionally and you shouldn't be afraid of recognising where, the, where it isn't the right fit and then moving accordingly. Best advice I can give anyone starting out in their career is to find the right mentor. Um, there is still 40 years ahead of you in, in your career so the main thing you should be focusing at this point is personal and professional growth and to do that having the right mentor that you trust and they trust you is incredibly important. The advice that I would give graduates or students who are looking for roles in industry is to think about what you want to do, think about what you enjoy. You don't have to pick exactly what the job is, but try and think about at a high level what, what you want and then find some organisations that align with that and go from there. So see if they're advertising jobs or write letters to them and those are called speculative applications uh, so don't just follow the crowd and apply for whatever graduate scheme is going try and be a little bit more targeted first understand yourself what drives you what motivates you what are you good at and when you understand this then you look as well at the opportunities out there what in an in industry and you can see what you know what kind of matches. Either on a project or with a, a team member, I can 
help them to think in a structured way and break problems down so that you know, we can tackle it one little bit at a time and not be overwhelmed by this, this giant problem that we have to solve. The two main engineering skills that help with being a manager, firstly, is a technical skill set because it enables you to support your team members to then deliver their work and their ambitions. And the second one is risk management, as there is a huge amount of crossover between engineering, risk management and team management. Because engineering can be quite complex and I've had to communicate these complex subjects in an understandable way, I've learned how to explain things better to people that I'm working with. For the team that I'm working in now, if we are hiring, what I would look for in an engineer is a, a real and genuine passion for climate change solutions. I think that is super important because that's what motivates me and the people on my team to do the job that we do. The three main things I look for when hiring an, an engineer are firstly, an openness to learn. Secondly, the ability to challenge the status quo. And thirdly, the tact to be able to do so whilst bringing everyone along with you. Being chartered through the iChemy is a, a personal achievement for me. So it's given me the confidence to know that I'm a, a good engineer and that I can do my job. And it's given me the confidence to apply for certain jobs and go for, for roles. In terms of the charging process, I can you had pretty clear kind of standards and, and competencies that you needed to develop to get to um, a chartership level. And I was able to look at, you know, these competencies and I was logging what I was doing and have discussions with my manager actually, hey, this is what I would need to do to get chartered. And it wasn't just so that I can have the badge of chartership, but it was also so that I can develop and have that skill as an engineer. Being a chartered member of the ICME has really helped my career so far because it is an external marker of credentials which companies trust. And it also enables me to access a huge amount of valuable resources, such as the um, training courses and the novel library. Chemical engineering to me is magic. It's literally taking any real world problem and solving it. Everything that we use in our daily lives from electricity to toothpaste uh, to the, the food that we eat, a chemical engineer has been involved at some point along the way. So I, I think it's a really important discipline that not many people in the public know about. Chemical engineering matters because it illuminates the science of the everyday. Everything around us that seems unexplainable becomes explainable through, through chemical engineering. And the reason why that matters is that it enables us to harness that understanding to solve the problems that are meaningful for humanity today, such as sustainability, food resourcing and vaccines, as well as many other problems. Mm -hmm.